to share a word of your interaction with Charlie that we know would bring a, a, an encouragement to the family. So I, I just want to uh, give you a moment to see if anyone would like to do that. Yeah, come on in, Craig. I'd like to uh, facilitate a bit of focus on some things that uh, Charlie brought my attention to and the world's attention to while he was here with us in a brilliant lifetime that we've all been affected by. And the first thing is we can all do it together right now by breathing in and breathing out. We do it all the time. When Grey Wolf got up to speak, I held my breath. Grey Wolf, I, I have nothing but the utmost respect for that man. There's another part of the web that speaks to us in the same survival mode that focus is important right now as trees sustains the air that we breathe moment, moment to moment. And then the animals that tend the garden that support us all and the entire web of life day to day. And that's what this man stood for. Right on, when Grey Wolf finished, I kind of looked over my shoulder this way, expecting that one of those other five people left was gonna get up. And then no, instead, I not only see no one moving, but then I see Pastor Mark basically starting to make his strides toward the front, like, okay, wrap it up. Half my body I was trying to still sit down and the other half was being pulled to the thing. I was asked to get up and speak, but I just couldn't. When Billy stood up and said, I'll speak, I, it was kind of relief. I was so furious at what that preacher was saying. I was afraid that I would r basically say something I was gonna regret. If anybody can walk away from here in true honor today, it's the spirit of truth that comes with that consciousness. And, and I just ask you please, if you only ever remember one thing from me, it's not about me, but please, we've gotta get the truth out there about what really led to the sacrifice that this person made on account on the, of, of the actions of other people. And a society that would let a human being be turned into the devil incarnate. Because this is not the devil, and it never was. One other thing I will say, you know, that these snakes we talked about earlier and these negative feelings and realities that people create, that's them, okay? And I just want to thank every single one of you because of all the accusations and, and false Hoods cast at this brother right here. I didn't see anybody trying to sensationalize anything. I saw nothing but true spirits and true hearts coming here to honor someone for the right reason. I knew Billy was so thankful for having the opportunity to come to Charles Manson's funeral. And then to say a few words, it didn't, it didn't matter to me. A lot of people were able to put things that mattered to them in the casket with Charlie. There was an eagle feather on his chest. There were necklaces, there were flags, there were rings, there was an iron cross. It was perfect. I can, I can walk in front and give, and give him an opportunity. He can carry. It's up to you. Yeah, I'm fine. And the rest of you are, are welcome to follow. I want to give them the opportunity. I want to walk with them. Yes, yes ma'am, hey. Okay. This is our moment. It isn't just my moment. It isn't just Derek's moment, Mike, George, Delana, JJ, Billy. Thank you. 
going to be probably three, three and a half hours pass. So you're welcome to stay. Anyone, anything you want to do if you want to stay right here or just, I know you've got some other things going on here, so I'm going to leave you guys to do what you want. Thank you, Les. As this procedure was going, my grandmother, Rosalie, crossed my mind, and my mother, my father, Charles Manson Jr. When we pushed him into the fire as a group, it was like a, a pressure release valve that just, that just lifted a lot of weight off my shoulders. 